In the four years a lot of sports talk has covered Big East Media Day, there have been two constants. One, my silly questions. Two, the presence of Marissa Janning. And Marissa joins me now. First of all, Marissa, thank you so very much for joining us. This is our fourth year uh, doing this. All right. Um, hopefully that's not a bad thing. No, definitely not. I'm happy to be back again. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, we were here last year getting ready for your senior year and it was truncated uh, because of your uh, leg injury. Um, what have you learned um, as a basketball player and as a person having to watch your team during most of last season when you were injured? Personally, I learned patience of, of all and um, just being put into a different role um, and then trying to like own into that role and dealing with my first injury, my first serious injury ever and missing games. Um, it took a lot of patience on my part, which was really, really tough to get over that mental hurdle. Um, and I mean, it's still tough to like go into practice, but watching them do what they did last year and deal with the adversity that they did and persevere through that was just amazing and I couldn't be more proud of them like it was hard for me to watch games but knowing that like I could be out there or like I wasn't able to be out there and um, just seeing what they did and it just makes me really excited for this year because we basically return everybody and we didn't bring in any freshmen so it's like we have virtually the same team and it can only it, it's exciting because I'm ready to have a special year with them. Uh, is this somewhat of a burden to be the uh, team or one of two teams tabbed as the co-favorites going into this season? No, um, Blaine was kind of talking about that and they asked like how we felt about like how if that changed our expectations versus if we were like third, fourth or fifth and I mean it doesn't, I mean it feels really good, don't get me wrong because like it shows like that the coaches and everybody has respect for us and like what return and what they did last year and all of that but I mean it's super exciting and super cool to be up there with like a team like DePaul because DePaul's obviously really really good and they are traditionally really really good and um, I mean I'm it's it's an honor to be up there tied for first and hopefully we can hold on to that expectation because that's what we want. Uh, where do you feel your game is now recovering from your injury or can you assign a percentage uh, as to health and your basketball skill are you as close to where you were uh, uh, going into last season? As far as like how I feel on the floor, it's definitely a hundred percent. But it's like, it it's tough like transitioning back into playing the five on five in full court and like knowing like the shots that I used to take and like being willing to take those shots and like being willing to do the same things that I was able to do. Like I'm still able to do everything that I was doing, but it's just being comfortable again in that setting and going full speed and taking squeezing the shots that I used to squeeze like the threes. Like coaches are always on me like that. Like you should have shot that and or just things like that. And but I feel really good about it. I'm pretty confident about it. I believe you've played both off the ball and on the ball uh, as well. Are you going to be more on the ball this year? And um, how important is it that you have had experience both off the ball and on the ball as well? I've spent most of my going to be five years um, actually on the ball. And um, that has kind of changed over. It's been kind of a transition the last couple of years to move off the ball. Um, and this year, it's it's his thought right now is to be off the ball with some on the ball but more off the ball so I'm pretty excited for that just um, I mean I can I'm comfortable with either one um, obviously being asked to defend some of the players that I've had to defend like Aaliyah Hanford and I mean all of those players that uh, Brittany Harinko, Shanice Jenkins um, and then also bringing the ball up the floor against players like that like <laughs> like Aaliyah Lewis from St. John's um, that's like taxing physically and kind of mentally and knowing that I won't really that won't be a 100% responsibility of mine kind of like eases me and relaxes me a little bit and it, it saves energy during the games it doesn't sound like it but it really does <laughs> but I mean I'm I'm okay going wherever I need to go like and wherever he puts me and wants me and what he thinks is best uh, you were going into your senior season last year and now you're going into your second uh, senior, senior season. season exactly super <laughs> senior season uh, does your mentality change uh, what was your mentality going into last season and I guess what's your mentality going into this season now knowing that this is your kind of redo of your senior season last year it was all about like my last first practice my last first game and then when I went through those and then thought that that was it and then th my I broke my leg and and then I got a second chance really. It's, it just showed me to not take anything for granted and to like live in the moment and know that, I mean, you just, I mean, you can get injured at any time and it's, um, I mean, it was devastating, but like knowing that I get a second chance and I was able to do that is just, it means a lot to me and it kind of shows, um, it like helped me grow and like gave me strength and showed me more about who I am and kind of gave me like some relaxation, like a break that I needed, but it was also like not wanted 
but getting a second chance means a lot to me. Uh, who, did, who did you lean on uh, while you were uh, recuperating? Definitely my brother, um, who he's overseas in Russia, and then my parents were definitely there for me, and um, my my roommates. Um, Brie was also hurt at the same time, Brie Rollerson, and she's she lives with me, so we probably just looked like a wreck coming out of our apartment. She was on, I was on crutches, and she was on like a little scooter, and um, and then my other roommate Anna, she plays softball, and I definitely leaned on some a lot of my friends. So I, I don't mean to be mean, but were you like, was, did you have like a nickname, crutches and scooter? <laughs> Our room was just like cursed or something, because <laughs> Anna was hurt from softball, and then me and Brie were hurt, and no, we didn't have any nicknames, but we were just like gimps all around. <laughs> Are you guys roommates now still? Yep. No. I still live with Brie. <laughs> oh, okay, so hopefully uh, you have like onions around and Lucky Charms and make sure uh, nothing happens. Uh, one last question really quick. Uh, what was it like seeing your team uh, make it to the Big East Tournament Final without you and get so close to the NCAA Tournament? They are, we are full of fighters and like competitors. Like our practices are just, like they show that. And they definitely showed that last year. And I think that's one reason why a lot of the schools and coaches have the really respect for us that they do. Because we like, we don't give up. And that's one thing like, it's weird because we'll be in practice and like Flan will say three possessions and like once he gets to the third possession we'll stop playing but he won't blow his whistle and he'll say like don't quit playing and like that's what came into my mind at, during that because they did not give up and they like they did not quit playing and they left everything out there in that St. John's game and like you could tell we were tired but like they didn't care because they knew that they were playing for each person on the bench and like everyone in the stands and knowing that's that's Creighton's culture like that's the culture that we want to show everyone that we have. And I think that's really important, and that's like what makes everything really fun. Marissa Janning, thank you so very much for the time. And hopefully, uh, when I put up this interview, you can <laughs> actually grade each of the four interviews that we've had from one to four, uh, best to worst. Marissa, thank you so very much for the time, and best of luck and success and health uh, to you and the Blue Jays in 2016-2017. Thank you so much.